What's going on YouTube? This is Dr. Polly, and Pokemon X and Y is out. Yeah, it's out. Actually, it's been out for like two or three weeks, the time recording this audio clip. Anyway, um, this Kalos Pokemon, these Kalos Pokemon I've really come to love, like, some of them I really love, like, Greninja and Aegislash, and some of them I don't really care about, like, Florgris and Gudra, and some of them I, 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 some of them I just don't like, like, uh, like, Esper. God, that thing can give me nightmares. Anyway, uh, I decided to make this video on Pokemon that should get Mega Evolutions in the next Pokemon game or next Pokemon generation. Because, yeah, they said that they're not going to make any Kalos Pokemon have Megas because they want you to go back and love the Pokemon that that you loved before and see them reimagined in Pokemon X and Y with the Mega Evolutions. Yeah, that's what they wanted to do. So anyway, I've made this list. To show you guys all what I think, the top five Pokemon that deserve Mega Evolutions in the next Pokemon game generation or thingy. Today is Remembrance Day. Today is an also also a great time to remember some unfinished business contest that I should probably get around to doing sometime this week, because people have been inboxing me and it's 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 no. Anyway. Before I get into this top five, I'd like to remember someone. Remember someone, not a veteran, not a veteran, not a, not your typical Remembrance Day person, but some guy who's been going through some struggles. I shouldn't, I shouldn't specify the struggles because that's more of a personal thing. But some guy's going through struggles and really deserves some comfort. So thank you. He really, it, it's it's okay. I, I've got you. It's okay. That's all I gotta say. It's it's okay. I got you. Don't worry. Number five. Number five on my list. I would have to say to would go to How Lucha, cause I feel like he's missing a lot. Like I feel like he has a lot more potential as a Pokemon. His design isn't complete yet. He does have the hidden ability Unburden, which means that when he loses his held item, his speed doubles. So just give him the Fighting Gem. And then power up punch, and then he has unburn, which doubles his speed. He's just about unbeatable from there on, unless you have a priority move like Ice Shard, or the Pokemon can just survive a high jump, a plus one high jump kick from Halucha, which isn't too common nowadays. I really feel like Halucha is missing the attack and speed stat, because like his attack goes up when he uses power pu power up punch, yeah, but his yeah, and his speed goes up when he uses the Fighting Gym, yeah. But think about it. A Pokemon could just easily just ice shard it like Mammal Swine with crazy attack. He could just just completely decimate the Halucha before he gets a chance to use Power Up Punch. So that's why I think, yeah, that's why I think he should have an upgrade in speed and attack. Like honestly, it'll be over. I really feel like he's missing a. I really feel like he's missing a lot. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? His design isn't complete yet. Like he could still. He could, he's still. He could still do more. That's what I'm feeling. He could still do a lot more. I think a Mega Evolution will help him a lot with that. Number four, Aegislash. Now everybody, hold y'all horses. Everybody, calm your tits because this, this <laughs> y'all are thinking Aegislash is cheap as hell. Why does he need a Mega Evolution? He's already cheap. Well, I don't really think. That he necessarily needs one. Like this is like more like this isn't really exactly like an upgrade. It's like make a guard chomp. Um, like increase increase the stats to like 180 attack and 180 defense. Yeah, that that that'll be good. But um, really, why I'm doing this? Because he needs more speed. It's because every time I use Aegislash, I always like I always like trying to use Sacred Sword because Shadow Sneak is not a powerful move simple as that. Shadow Sneak is not a powerful move. If you're facing a smart trainer, after one Swords Dance, then they'll just use Earthquake or Fire Blast and take the Aegislash down one or two hits because it doesn't have HP either. Maybe increase his HP too, that'd be good. Um, because he doesn't have any HP either, so he really needs speed, like right like right now. Because I've, like, I was using an Aegislash and a Mega Charizard Y came out. He used, what's it, Blast Burn? And totally decimated my Aegislash. He had no chance because of the drought boost and all the other good stuff. 
It just completely, completely decimated the Aegislash. Slash. He had no chance of surviving that blast burn from Mega Charizard. Why? That's why I really deserve. That he really, de that, I really think that he deserves more speed. Like maybe not a hundred speed to outspeed Charizard and many other Pokemon. Maybe I'm thinking at 80, 70 speed, because 60 is just not even workable. Unless you're facing like a freaking fortress, but eight, 60 speed is not even workable. I'm sorry. Number three, Gudra. Gudra kind of has the same reason as Aegislash. He needs more speed. Gudra is a very, he's a special tank. If it could be a physical tank, that'd be nice too. But mostly he's a special tank. Use like Ice Beam on it, Blizzard, freaking Sheer Cold. He ain't gonna die. He's the greatest. Gudra is actually a, Gudra is actually amazing. Like honestly, just that special attack is good and all. It could be boost up to 125 ish, something like that. Just so it could be more pseudo legendary like. But you can tell that Gudra wasn't really supposed to be a powerhouse. It was more supposed to be. It was mostly supposed to be a f special tank, and it does that role very well, very nicely, if I do say so myself. Um, he, but over, overall, he needs more speed and more special attack. It's kind of like the Hone Edge, not Hone Edge, uh, the Aegislash Slash deal. He needs more. He needs more special attack. Um, that'd be nice too. But um, he needs more speed because 90 speed, 90 speed isn't really workable, especially with this kind of Pokemon. Like, I know he's a tank and all, but one Outrage or one Ice Punch and Gujar is just about done because he doesn't have the greatest defenses. Special defense is off the charts, but regular defense isn't really the greatest. So that's my reason for Gujar. Number two, all the Kalos starters. I know all of y'all, just about all of y'all thought this would make the list. I I'm sure it will happen too. I'm sure all of y'all probably thought this would make the list because it's pretty obvious. Why, why wouldn't you want all the starters to have? I mean, the Kanto starters, um, the um, Blaziken, I'm sure all the starters are eventually going to get one. Maybe by events or something like that. I'm sure they're all going to get one eventually. So it makes sense for the Kalos starters to have one. I mean, all the starters are equal. Like, they all have a variation between 535, highest being Swampert, and 525, lowest being Meganium. They all have, they all have pretty decent, they all have pretty similar overalls, yes. And they all can learn, they're, they're the only Pokemon they can learn Blast Burn. They can all, they all can learn Blast Burn, yes. And they're, they're all Fire, Water, Grass, yes. And they're all, they all evolve three times. So that's, but those are my three. Re those are like those. Those are gimmies, and most some of the starters have already gone megas. So it would only make sense for the Cal stars to get megas. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, that's my reason. Yeah. Number one, Pangoro. Now Pangoro is a decent Pokemon. Like he doesn't have the greatest stats. He doesn't have anything too special about him. But he was the final evolution, he was like the first final evolution that we got to see in X and Y before it came out. And I was hella, I was, I was, I, I was hella pumped for him. I was like, I was like getting off my chair. I was like, he was going to be, I thought he was going to be like an amazing Pokemon. And when the base stats for him first came out, there are 550 and I was just blown away. I was like, all right, all right, I'm using this guy. But then later on, later on where they actually um, found out the stats, it wasn't just an estimate estimate he got bumped down pretty low <laughs> if I do say so myself he got bumped down pretty low he was um I think he's 495 now I think he's 495 he, he really needs a mega like I'm not saying his design is incomplete or anything his stat his move pool is good and all but I really think he needs a mega just because of the hype surrounding him before the game started before the game came out I mean like people were People were getting hyped up. People were getting people were choosing their teams before the game even came out. And Pangoro was always on my team. I really want I really want him to I really want him to get far. Like I, I if he got a Mega Evolution, I'm sure his stats would just shoot up to 699 or 6999 or some something perverted like that. Because that's that that that's that's what I want his stats to be. Something really high and perverted. Because that's that that's what I love. Yes, that's what I absolutely adore. Anyway, I really think Mega Evolution can really open up doors for this Pokemon, and that's the reason he is the number one Pokemon on my list. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. More top five videos coming out soon, and this is just a little update here. 
Um, every week, I'll be doing a Pokemon Facts and Theories video. Um, it'll be quite a bit of work, but <laughs> we'll get it done. We'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We get, we'll get it done. Um, so yeah, that is it for the video. Click that subscribe button, cause subscribers is what I get, cause money is what I deserve. Okay, I should just stop with that terrible rapping of mine. Horrible. I, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. If you want more top 5 videos, leave a comment. Yes, comments are always good to read. Anyway, I'm wasting my time here. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! And I'm sorry I couldn't get this video up on the actual Remembrance Day. The reason I couldn't was because I had a lot of schoolwork and um, I was gonna I was gonna actually upload it, but I didn't finish doing the last three top fives. And um Time, time was running out, and I had, I had to do, I had to go for a haircut, and um, yeah, I could, I'd had school, so I couldn't do it um, anytime before, anytime like November 12th or something like that. So that's pretty much the reason.